while I got you, Howard, I just want to give you one moment of shit about your podcast rants. Look, let me explain it again so everybody <laughs> understands about podcasts. I'm not anti-podcast. If I, like, I'll go on and listen to or view a video if I want instruction in, let's say, playing a song on the guitar, if I want instruction in how to draw a picture, if I want uh, some sort of information that is very specific to me. The thing, again, I'm referring to is, if you want a career in broadcasting where you make money as a broadcaster, the only worthwhile way to do it, you're not going to make a living in podcasting. You know, this and, is where and, I want to go after you. Hold this on, hold on. Let me finish my all statement. Right, all right, now, all right. Adam, uh, my buddy there, Carola. Adam Carolla, swears to me he's making a living. But uh, between you and me, I, I believe him. Uh, he had a, a career in regular broadcasting, so he brought over some audience. He's not the typical example. He had a career in broadcast, and believe me, and I go to dinner with Adam. Who pays? Uh, I do. Uh, I didn't see him whip out the wallet or even attempt to do it, which shows you how much fucking money he has in the oh, podcast. Oh, no. And secondly, uh, with the podcast, he actually goes around and does them in clubs and does live club dates and then puts it on his podcast. That's where he gets a lot of the money. And thirdly, yes, he does have sponsors and stuff, but he's had the un unique experience of being a regular broadcaster who brought an audience over with him. That's how he got known. So he's a rare exception. I'm telling people, if you're doing a podcast, they get lost in the sauce. You don't really have a way of getting a big audience enough to pay as a broadcaster. Okay, now you got to go out. No. You've got to go out and get a job as a broadcaster. And then That's you will where be you're paid. being an old fart. Fine. Jeff, point to the person making a career well, off first, podcasting. Let me say, don't, no, here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to say. Yeah, I know. I just, uh, you guys who make, make a, you, no, you no, see free no, video clips right. of a podcast. Can I talk now? <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> you are the one who destroyed broadcast, and now you tell people you've got to go through broadcast. You pulled the ladder up behind you, man. There is no more broadcast anymore. You, Howard Wrong. Stern, destroyed it. No, no. First of all, let me correct you. Terrestrial radio is still extremely relevant. There oh, are hundreds no. of millions. I, when, there, when was the last time you listened to a terrestrial radio station? I never listen to it. Right. But I am not the... I'm, I recognize I'm not the only person on the planet. Terrestrial radio still has millions and millions and millions, into the hundreds of millions, people with it in their car. And now, it sucks. Okay, agreed on that. But it's still relevant. Secondly, I look at movie companies, look at McDonald's, look at all the... They all still advertise on it. That means somebody's listening to it. Secondly... It is true. I went over to Satellite and made a very good living, but I did it off of broadcast where I built a very big audience, and I was able to bring over some of that audience to Satellite. And Satellite is gaining. We have 30, no, I shouldn't say 30, I think 27 or 28 million subscribers, uh, which is unbelievable business. But not everybody can be you. Not everybody can go in your path anymore. It's a new path. It Last is, week, Howard, I was at VidCon. <sighs> Right? VidCon. Oh, VidCon. You're kidding. You were at VidCon? <laughs> I was at VidCon. What mask were you wearing? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that oh, yeah, matter. I saw you. You were dressed as Batman. <laughs> 20, no, this is not Comic-Con. This is VidCon. Right. This is 23,000 screaming girls with the fans of these of podcasts, of shows. Yeah, all right. right? Good. PewDiePie. PewDiePie. How much money is PewDiePie? PewDiePie. How much money? Much, much? $7.8 million dollars a year. PewDiePie is making seven point eight million a year. Seven point eight million dollars. Who is? A year. Has anyone here ever heard of PewDiePie? No. I interviewed Cenk Uger, Cenk uh, Uger from uh, the Young Turks on stage. Please, I know Gallahorn. I don't know PewDiePie. He's making millions. Uh, I'm on a podcast every week called This Week in Google on the Twit Network. Leo Port. He brings in about eight million a year. Mm, it's I not as big it. as you. I don't Howard, believe it. But you can buy. Don't a lot believe of it. Noodles. Don't fucking believe there's a guy making a podcast making eight million a year. Don't believe it. I'm, Sorry. There. Um, Show it to me. Uh, you're telling me these people are lying to Jeff? Uh, Jeff's the only guy who's hurt. He named two people so far <laughs> making eight million dollars a year. I've never heard of either one of them. Uh, YouTube now has thirty-five. 
uh, yes, podcast. But who's making money? YouTube is making money. YouTube is making the money. And YouTube, shares YouTube takes my clips and money. plays them. YouTube I, shares not, revenue with I'm, them? I'm not yeah. sharing any revenue. Well, that, well, yes, you are. We're serious. This is no, why I yell I'm talking you about YouTube. You your own show oh, online. You didn't listen to me. <laughs> yes, Sirius pays me a salary. You should own the show. Why should you share your... You're the one who brought all the value to Sirius. Why should you be sharing anything with Sirius? This is why I yell at you. You should have your own empire that you own 100% online. Digital would allow you to do that. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Go call <laughs> Pootie <Goodbye>. Pie, really. <laughs> call Pootie Pie Show. What are you calling mine for? You're, you're wasting your time here. Thanks, Jeff. That's, love, uh, you, the, love you, too. Uh, love you. It's Jeff Jarvis. Everyone loves Jeff. <laughs> Pootie Pie. <laughs> Pootie Pie is making $8 million. Look that up, Pootie, Pootie Pie. Pie is making $8 million. Yeah, okay. Has anyone here ever heard of Pootie Pie? <laughs> well, I'm a broadcaster. I never heard of Pootie Pie. Fucking Pootie Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Pootie Pie is making $8 million. <laughs> there's, there's regular broadcasters ain't making it. Chris Booker's been at this game 9 million years. He ain't making fucking anywhere near it. He's, make, he's lucky if he's and, making two or 300 And the station he works for makes tons of money. Yeah, yeah. But Pootie Pie is making $8 million. <laughs> Hey, Booker, if you're listening. Get on the get podcast. On the, join Pootie Pie Network. <laughs> Pootie Pie. No, the Twit Network is making money. Twit. <laughs> Good Lord. Anyway, I'll get back to uh, High Pitch Arc's Periscope account. <laughs> when you calm down. Yeah, when I calm down. I'll... From podcast yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, you want to do a podcast? Fine. I'm not, you know, it's great. It's like college radio. Great. Go for it. I'm just telling you, if you really want to make a living, you got to go out and get a mass audience. And it ain't going to happen on a podcast. Now, why is that such a fucking tough concept? Don't blame me. It's in the facts. And I never heard of Pootie Pie. That's my point. People heard of Howard Stern. <laughs> but you know what? I've never heard of some of the people on terrestrial radio. I didn't develop my career on satellite. Let me tell you something. They got 9 million shows on this satellite radio. Take mine out of the mix. You haven't heard of any of them. <laughs> you got you to gotta be a hit in regular radio or some major medium. Some mass media. And bring over an audience. You know, aside from me, we haven't seen any of that. So, okay, take me out of the equation. They got, uh, get me the list of every talk show on here, and I guarantee you haven't heard about it, unless it's a simulcast from, leave me alone, I gotta get out of this discussion, what am I dealing with? Yeah, Jeff is it's off like the I'm, phone, Howard. I'm talking to retarded people. <laughs> Jeff is off the phone, why are you continuing? Where's Pootie Pie? So, I just went and looked to see what the fuck Pootie Pie is, because yeah. I had to know. Yeah. So... The guys in the office seem to know who he is a little bit in yeah. the sense that, like, he doesn't do a – he's not a broadcaster of yeah, any kind. Yeah, yeah, He sits and watches video games and comments on them. Yeah, oh. good. And so I guess a lot of people follow him and because he's on YouTube. If you get so I said, there of, is niche stuff that if you're – like chess, okay? I enjoy the game of chess. Now, I go on and listen to broadcasts about chess. Nobody else does this. And Pootie Pie just became more known – than he has ever been on his own That's by right. being well, mentioned on this show. Well, Jason said that the, the thing is that you monetize it when you're on YouTube by followers, and he does have a lot of followers, like millions. Uh, how much money right. is YouTube giving him? I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to see that kind of Well, he said Pootie Pie was making 7.5. 8.3. 8.3. 8.3. 30, uh, Pootie Pie has 38 million YouTube subscribers. Now, that is pretty impressive. Yes. The question is, how much money is... I, <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, I don't care. You know, I'm wrong. Please get off my back with this. Go do a fucking podcast, and you too can be Pootie Pie, okay? What's this? i just been handed a note. Pootie Pie just bought this company. <laughs> I'm now working for Pootie Pie. Mr. Blutowski. Zero point zero. You're out. Finished at Faber. Expelled. I want you off this campus at 9 o'clock Monday morning.